Hey guys, this is the professor, and this is part of our bushcraft outing today, but uh, we're also going to post this under the food section, and I am going to reveal to you the secret of my meatball sauce. Now, I posted the recipe for this earlier into uh, Dutch oven meals for bushcraft meats, and here then are these three secret ingredients to go with the meatballs. Now we made the meatballs up in advance. I posted the recipe for that as well, or you could simply go to the frozen foods section and uh, get pre-made meatballs. And they keep well. Uh, this kind of weather, they're barely thawed out uh, as we came out to camp today. But we're going to build up this special sauce here. And here's all it amounts to. First of all, we have a 12 ounce bottle of chili sauce, which is uh, in the store right alongside the ketchup. We have here some grape jelly, and our final secret ingredient is a half cup of brown sugar. We're going to make this all up in a 10 inch cast iron skillet. So let's get it on the fire and get things started. Okay, now on our grape jelly here, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and use my half cup measure. The recipe calls for one cup of this. If I had this huge jar, I'll just go ahead and dip out a cup of it. But it might be easier if you're going out on the trail to just buy a smaller jar of grape jelly. But hey, in this case we'll put in the equivalent of a cup thereabouts. Once again, this isn't too critical, but it does give it a good flavor. And we'll call that a cup. Now we'll get that on the fire and get that uh, all kind of turned into a liquid here. Okay, well the sauce is uh, coming along now. You can sort of see that it's simmering a little bit there on the fire side. We had uh, one of the hazards of bushcraft videos is that part of the time you're paying more attention to video than you are your business. And so my fire got down while we were getting all of those pretty shots of the ingredients. The uh, fire all burned down so I was just about out of coals and I didn't have much to cook with. So we had to get back to uh, building the fire back up, getting some coals going, and now we'll go ahead and we'll put in these meatballs. Once again here, we made these meatballs up at home in advance, and they're still frozen. So what we're going to do is get them in that sauce, and they'll finish thawing out that way. And that way then they'll cook up in that sauce, and they'll get hot be good so let's go ahead and get them covered up with that hot sauce and now we'll just give them time to simmer and cook while we get on the other parts of the meal here okay now while our meatballs are simmering we're going to go ahead and make up the other part of our meal what we're going to have today here is a, a more rice side in this case it's beef flavor thought that would go pretty well with the uh, meatballs so what we're going to do here is uh, add to that some freeze-dried peas I got a number 10 can of those and uh, they reconstitute quickly and work well and the instructions on the package say that we're going to need uh, two cups of water and so I've already got some water on the boil here go ahead and use our canteen cup as a measure Add a little bit extra here for the peas and so a canteen cup full of hot water get that in there and then we'll go ahead and let that cook up a little bit on the fire off to the side and that will work well
see here that the sauce is hot now or simmering gently out here beside the fire not right in the middle of it to burn it all up but just to simmer it gently while all those meatballs soak up that delicious sauce and now over here let's check up our nor rice side and see what's happening you see that we're boiling happily here and going to let it take up some more of the rest of that uh, liquid in there boiling on the fire side sitting up on the trivet so give that a couple more minutes should be ready okay the uh, bushcraft outing meal is ready to go we can see here that the meatballs are still simmering just a little bit even though we've just pulled them off of the fire over here on our nor rice side you can see that it's taken up all of the liquid and that we're ready to serve some of that so we'll plate up a little bit of this the normal serving size on the meatballs is two or maybe three depending on how hungry you are so i'll serve up two of those a little extra of that sauce to go over the top and of course if we have extra we can kind of put that along with the uh, with the rice as well notice here that our rice and beef concoction with some peas here for color and interest are ready to go and so here is our meal for our bushcraft outing today thanks for joining me this is the professor and I'll see you soon